still can't believe that these were delivered to the boutique. A huge surprise yesterday. They're so beautiful, a very light pink bouquet of roses. I have a question for you guys because I'm wondering, is this a nightgown? And even if it is, do you think it would be too much to style it and wear it for work? It has some really gorgeous details. But that is not what I'm going to be wearing today. I'm going to wear my magical night trousers. They're in cotton with golden um, moons and stars on them. Then I'm going to wear my gold boots. Super cool. I just got those recently and I'm in love with them. Then I'm wearing my magical night cape. They are almost back in stock. They should be here later Monday. So I'll get some new ones soon if you want to grab one on the web shop. And then I'm also wearing this warm, yellowy, orangey um, vintage blouse underneath. I need to put on some rings, I forgot. So that is my outfit of the day. Good morning guys, it's Wednesday. No longer the morning actually, it is 10 o'clock. I'm just trying to wake up a little. I worked until 1 a.m. last night so I've had a slow beginning of, of Wednesday. I still can't believe that I was sent flowers yesterday. I was so confused when the delivery man came down here with a box and I was just trying to go through what I had bought online. I could not come up with anything that would look like that. And then Sophie was like, I think it's flowers Elise and she just popped up her phone and started filming and I had a flower delivery such a huge surprise i i've not been given flowers that many times in my life i think you can count it on maybe one hand my ex-boyfriend never got me flowers um so it was it was just such a surprise i had not ever thought anything like that was gonna happen really it was so so sweet um so thank you so much to the person who sent it i still don't know who it is um, it didn't come with a name, but it really made my day and they are so beautiful sending in my kitchen at home. I think how I'm going to start this day to just wake up would be to pack some orders. Then I can just pop around for a little bit, listen to some podcasts and just try to wake up. I still feel puffy and tired, so... Mm, I think I'm going to try something new today. We have two different types here. We have a skinny chai latte with caramel and then we have a chai latte that should be spicy. So if you have been having like many of these, I think I'm going to try one. So I've just boiled up some water in my beautiful kettle. First of all, it smells amazing like vanilla. These are the pieces that Sophie and I photographed yesterday for today's vintage drop. There are some really gorgeous pieces in between. As an example, this green vintage cardigan with embroidered flowers on it. It's really beautiful, amazing buttons, nice details. And then there's also a dress like this one that is floral cotton, very feminine details. And then it's super duper long. It's just so old school feminine and very adorable. But there are some really nice pieces here. This one as well. Super long. Beautiful vintage dress. Sophie wore this one for yesterday's shoot. And it also has some really gorgeous details. And I didn't think I'll be able to fit into it. But it is actually bigger than my waist size. So I think we need to try this on when we've packed some orders because it's really pretty. <laughs> it is my favorite thing about my job, but it's also very dangerous to love dresses and vintage this much. Because yesterday for the shoot, I kept falling in love with the dresses I tried on. I was wearing this maxi dress. It was not a wedding dress, but you could definitely wear it as a wedding gown. And I posted some pictures of it on my Instagram if you want to check it out. It is so beautiful and I think it's going to be sold like that today. That's my guess. I also fell for a bright pink 70s maxi dress that I've decided not to list today because I'm still 
I still haven't decided if I need to get it myself. So it's dangerous to try on this as well. But it's also a perk of having the job that I have. Because I really want to try it on. So <laughs> we're going to do that after we've packed some orders. <coughs> happens every day <laughs> chocolate because I'm such a grown-up person and this is breakfast <laughs> so healthy <laughs> look how pretty it is and it fits me really well it comes with a string so you can just tie it around your waist i can't believe that i can fit into these dresses this is a size extra small i can just put you here this dress has a waist of 66 centimeters. I am 68, um, but I can fit into it. And it is so beautiful. It's really pretty black and white floral dress with cute small puff sleeves. I love the way it hugs the waist here. And then it's long as well. I'm not planning to gain any weight, but I could not gain much, then I wouldn't be able to wear it. So it's probably not something I'm gonna get a lot of use out of if I took it myself. But it's so beautiful, I kind of want to do it, but it's gonna be up a little later today. And I think this is probably also gonna sell pretty fast. It's so amazing. It's not a return package. I'm so curious to see what this is. You're gonna get the first look with me. What is in here? Oh, it looks like a late Christmas present. I'm always a little bit careful with letters. But we do have some work to get done, so I think we should continue with the shoot. I only need to shoot a few more pieces, so it won't be long. Let's get some music. I just wanted to show you this too. Look at this 70s dress. It's off-white color with flower details, and then it's a maxi dress, so it's really long. So beautiful on the bag as well. I think it makes great sense that I fall for everything I photograph these days. <laughs> I'm done. I'm so, so ready. Thank you. So the first thing I see is some napkins. Pink ones. And they say, kiss my tiara. <laughs> I hope that's a joke. Okay, we have some things in here. There. Everything is wrapped. Ooh. Ooh, a small glass jar. This feels like another one, a small glass container. Oh, this one is broken. Oh, this is so beautiful and it's broken. I think it's tops for something. Oh, what a shame. So this pretty one, the top, I think was for this one. You know, unfortunately it is broken in shipping. But it's beautiful. But also this one will be so stunning to propagate flowers in. Oh! A colored glass bowl. This one. That's really cute. Thank you. That's so sweet. And then the last thing in the box is this one. And I don't know what it is. 
don't know what it's for let me know what is this for <laughs> i need your help that was a very sweet package i love these two this is gonna be so perfect for propagating and this one is just so adorable and in a pretty good size so thank you so much for sending me this package um yeah it's always nice with surprises so thank you i really hope these shoes just have to be worn for a little bit because they actually hurt my feet right now i hope it's gonna get better because they weren't exactly cheap but it's one hour till the new vintage is gonna drop so i'm gonna sit here comfortably take care of my back with a cup of iced coffee and just edit and upload the last pieces and get ready for this and that on instagram as well so uh, vintage is up and i'm now heading out with orders because Celine is going to go to the mechanic today. She's going to get checked. Hopefully she will be okay so that I can keep her for two more years. This is a little bit of a scary thing to do because I know nothing about cars. So I don't know if anything like surprisingly is going to show that should be wrong with her. I don't know. It's just a little bit weird. Um, so I won't have Celine for the rest of the day. And for tomorrow then hopefully everything's gonna be pretty okay and i can get her back again like thursday night friday maybe hopefully thursday <sighs> it's gonna be hard to live without her but yeah she's gonna get checked so we need to go quickly because she has to be handed in before five and it's now ten past four so <laughs> I really don't like to admit this but I'm actually a little bit disappointed with these shoes. They're from a brand called Yonak so they have been pretty expensive, really expensive expensive actually and they're quite hurting at the minute so I hope it's gonna get better for every time I wear them but they're just so beautiful. Just a little bit, ouch. There we go, back up there. Hey booby! Hi, Movie! Hi! Have you missed me, Boo? Hey! Back into the tunnel. Hey, Boo Boo! Hi! I've missed you. Hi, Scat. Can't keep my eyes off you. You're everything that I see. I feel like it looks even prettier now than it did this morning. I can't believe how silky roses are. They feel amazing. I'd wish this bouquet would just last forever. I'm so, so happy with it. It's so beautiful. I'm really grateful. Every single second I look at it. I want to wear these today. Good morning guys, it's Thursday and I am in my mom's car. I'm gonna borrow today, really sweet of her, while my own one is getting fixed. I hope nothing is wrong, they haven't called me yet, but they probably will, will, probably will throughout the day. I'm sorry, I have to wake up. My package from India should arrive today. It has been delayed with weeks and weeks and I really hope it's gonna be here today. It should, I've, I got a message this morning. So we're gonna cross all of our fingers. Um, it would just be so lovely. I've waited for such a long time. I feel like I sit so low, oh, in this car. <laughs> I'm just wondering when people go by if they think, wow, is it a child like driving that car? <laughs> That's how I feel, but we are heading to work. Today is the second outfit challenge day with Sophie. We're filming a video together. So if you can see what I'm wearing, you have a guess on the theme, then hit me. But today is our second day. So I better get moving. It's a really grey, rainy, sad Thursday. Um, but we have pretty much been getting used to those by now. What a beginning of the day. 
I've spent 45 minutes crying and um, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with Celine. The mechanic called me and he said that what needed to be fixed would cost around like $1,500. And when he said that, I was just like, what did you say? How much? So I have been crying, I've been on the phone with my brother, I've been chatting with a guy I know who's also a mechanic to just try and figure out if it's going to be worth the money to spend for a car that's so old. And it has been, I don't know, I think it would have been a lot easier if I had prepared myself emotionally for something like that, but I just had not because I thought she was fine. I did not think there were going to be anything really wrong with her. So I was just a little bit in shock. Therefore, we have now decided that we're going to bring her to maybe my dad actually. And he's going to have a look at her. We're going to try another mechanic and we're going to see how bad it is. And then try to evaluate ourselves if it makes sense to get it fixed. Or if it would be better to just like uh, get rid of her. It felt really nice to talk to someone because when the mechanic called me, I just, yeah, it was tough, but I'm feeling better. It was really nice that I could call my brother. Um, so now we're going to get ready with some sewing projects. I'm going to make some scrunchies of some old textile. I am going to use this dress. I think this fabric would be like really cute as scrunchies. So I'm going to use this. Then we also have some leftovers from Sophie's recycled collection that I'm going to turn into scrunchies so that we're going to use all of the fabric. And then I also have some leftovers of this really old piece that I found out thrifting um, like last year. I'm going to see if I can turn that into scrunchies as well. So that's the plan. And Sophie's also doing some hand sewing, stitching. I don't know what it's called. Yeah, okay, so it's buttons right now. I have just picked up the car. I couldn't park in front of the boutique this morning. So I've picked it up. It's now in front of the boutique and we are now going to take some pictures outside. The weather just changed. It's so beautiful right now and we're definitely gonna gonna do some shoots outside. We're gonna shoot some berets. In green, pink and purple. Yeah, because Very purple colorful. is not on the web shop yet. No. So we're gonna do that. Yeah. I'm just gonna take a moment to be real. Because that's important. Oh, that's my mom. Hello? Hello? What's up? Yeah. How long is the world going? Not so good, yo. It can be hard to drive for a car. Absolutely, but it could you even do. No. So. What are the chances that my mom calls me right after I said I just need to be real for a moment and then I start crying? But it shows really well how I have felt um, today after it's been a nerve wrack. Sophie and I did a fun shoot on the street with some berets. We um, chit-chatted about some future things that we want to do. I also got one of the packages that has been stuck. It's been taking so long to get here. It came today with some samples and also pre-orders on the night sky capes. Um, so I can ship those out tomorrow. I'm just out of words and so emotionally drained and exhausted right now. I feel like I could just sit here and stare into a blank wall for the rest of the day and that would be enough stimulation for me. That's actually how I feel. <laughs> 